Hey, what's going on, guys? Destruct Nadia here, and today we're back with yet another gameplay. This time, what you guys are watching is Chemstrike with every gun number 13, I want to say. It's an ARX 160 Chemstrike on the map, flooded, playing solo or, you know, with one friend. I consider that solo, basically. But either way, this is a pretty slow Chemstrike, guys, not gonna lie. It's probably around five minutes, but uh, this is, again, how you want to play if you want to get a Chemstrike. I mean,. I already had an ARX chem strike and I died a couple off a double, but I wasn't recording, so I was really upset about that because it did take me a while to get a chem strike with this to gun. So I was going back at it again and I was trying to just do it as fast as possible. I wasn't trying to get something really too impressive. I just wanted the chem strike with it. So I kind of played a little bit campy, a little bit defensive, but this is, you know, if you want to get a chem strike, play like this. This is how you want to play, you know? It's the just the perfect strategy, basically. Stick around an area, rotate back and forth, and just don't stick in one spot too, too much. So, either way, let's talk about the ARX really quickly. It's an okay assault rifle. I don't think it's that great. It's pretty good at close to medium range, but once you start getting long range, uh, it, the damage drop off is really quick. It has a high fire rate and very low damage. So, that's the recoil as well as the damage is not going to do you much uh, good when you're in, you know, long range situations. But, when you're right up in their face like you are in the B flag around flooded, or on the around the B flag on flooded, excuse me. Then you're 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 pretty good. So it's definitely a fun gun to use. I'll give it that. So definitely worth trying out. You might like it. Who knows? So either way, let, now that we've done that, I wanted to tell you guys basically about um, a little stuff, a little rant, if you will, a little rant about school because I just recently had my exams, as you guys know, and we had a pretty long break after that. We had a uh, winter day, no winter day, snow day. I'm so stupid. We had a snow day, and so that was pretty cool. Made it for a pretty long break from school, and we came back, and basically all the bad stuff about school came crashing back. You know, there's good. You see your friends. I I consider school pretty fun. You know, friends and hanging out and having a good time, but. There are some things about school that just absolutely pissed me off, and I felt like I'd rant about them. So, let's get right into it. The first thing that absolutely pisses me off is when, excuse me, a teacher is out to get you. And you guys probably don't understand what I mean. What, like, what do you mean a teacher's out to get you? But, basically, when they just ask trick questions or stuff you haven't learned or purposely make things hard just to spite you, just so, like, just so you'll do worse. And it's really annoying. It pisses me the fuck off because they're teachers. They're supposed to be helping you learn stuff, not, you know, trying to trick you. So the reason I say all this stuff is because I did receive a bunch of my exams. And on my chemistry exam, I didn't do as well as I thought. You know, I did really well, but all the questions I got wrong were either a trick question or something we straight up didn't learn. Uh, and by straight up didn't learn, I mean that term or whatever was not in any of our notes. And I, I told the teacher that, I'm like, excuse me, you know, this, we never learned this. This was not a thing we learned. He's like, oh yeah, it was. It was in our notes. And, you know, you, you say, no, it wasn't. I, you know, studied all of my notes. It wasn't in there. He said, yeah, it was. What the hell are you going to do? Like, how much can you argue before they start getting pissed off and just, like, take points off your grade for arguing with them? It's... It's really, really stupid, and I hate teachers that do that. And the ones that do, like, trick questions where, you know, why why make a trick question? Why are, you, why are you trying to purposely trick them? It's not like I have to know everything in this course exactly down to the minuscule level such that I can instantly, you know, get those problems right. And the reason I get the trick questions wrong is simply because I'm, you know, pressured for time. It's a two-hour exam, and I don't have an unlimited amount of time to finish it. So I need to just roll through the questions really fast. I don't have time to read it once, read it again, make sure I get the exact meaning of it. It's, it's just really stupid. I find it really, really annoying when teachers do that. So the next thing is kind of about, um, kind of about teachers in general, but also about English as more specific, is when... Some when a teacher takes something way too far in terms of analyzing or something like that So if you guys don't know what I mean, we're analyzing poetry right now in English and uh, You know, it's some of the stuff is like, okay. Yeah, you know, he was a good poet a good writer or whatever But half the shit we talk about is like can we really say that can we give them credit for doing that much stuff? You know, for example, you know um, w uh, Last year we had uh, a poem about love or something like that, love and nothingness. And so our teacher made us count the vowels in the poem, and the most common vowel was the letter E. And he's like, why is the most common vowel the letter E? And I said, because E is the most common letter of the alphabet. He said, no, it's because it's the last letter of love. And I said, I, I seriously wanted to stand up and punch him in the face, because you can't do that. You can't just say that kind of bullshit. And... You know, it's to a degree where, yeah, you can analyze it, you can dig into it, find a deeper meaning and stuff like that. But what the hell is that? You make your students count the number of vowels in a fucking...
Seriously, and the teachers that act like they know everything when they when you just correct them and they really don't know anything at all. You know, they 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 say something and you're like, no, that's not what it is. It's like this, and then they're like, no, no, you're wrong. It's like this, and you go back and forth. You show them, hey, you're wrong, and they're like, instead of admitting like, oh yeah, you're right, they're like, yeah, that's what I said. Why didn't you say that? Oh my god, I swear, guys, school sometimes pisses me off so much. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. ARX Chemstrike. My name is Destructinator, and I'm out. Peace.